Hiya, welcome to the My Shorts podcast. I'm Hamida Chowdhury. My film Blood on Your Hands won the C Awards this month and I'm just here to talk a little about it. Parliament outlawed this barbaric practice because it is both cruel and unnecessary. However, Harrods continues to sell fur imported from other countries where these cruel practices are still carried out. What was the inspiration behind Blood on Your Hands? We knew one of the protesters. Um, it was my camera person who knew him personally. So I had no idea about the protesters being outside of Harrods and the fact that they've been there for years. And we were thinking of documentary ideas and the more she was telling me, the more I kept questioning the protesters and more questions started coming up. Um, not questioning in a negative way, but I was just very curious to know what it is that they were protesting about, why they were protesting, would they be successful, they've been there for years, what is it that's keeping them motivated and through that we decided, you know what, why don't we do a documentary about it, so it's not so biased the documentary, we wanted to get both views to let the audience decide what is it that they believed in, who did they sympathise with. Actually. I don't have any, uh, I can't say anything about the fur because no, I'm no, wearing no. one, so I have, no, I have no personal opinion on this team, so... No, 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 I mean, uh, do you think Har they will stop having selling fur or do you think No, 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 it's just, uh, this is, uh, this is business and business is business, so this is something totally different, not Harris, maybe somewhere else, but... Do you think they're wasting their time? I think yes. This is just like a protest or uh, listen, we are here and we think that, but uh, it, it, I think it wouldn't be a, a no success. People will take notice of this, like, of course they will. I mean, this is after even shocking me walking down the street, like, that we were even he heading into Harrods. You know, this, it would make me think twice about it now, like. What are your personal thoughts on the fur trade and um, did they change throughout making the documentary? They did. It wasn't something I thought much about. I knew that it was cruelty to animals, but it's not the first thing that you know would come to my mind or anything like that. However, through research, watching a film, uh, this documentary, um, I think it's by Sean Monson, called Earthlings, you can find it on Google. Watching that made me feel so upset about how animals, I mean, some of them are they're not even dead and they've been skinned alive their skins turned inside out and it was just so horrific that now when i don't i don't know when i go into a, a shop like i've been to harrods through for research purposes and touching the coats after watching such footage just it just made me feel sick i didn't want to touch it because i know how that fur has has come to that shop, I know what went through the animal for it and it's just, it's horrific to be honest with you. What did you expect to find through the making of the film? Our aim was to find, to see if the protesters would actually get heard. Our aim was to get a view from Harrods because the protesters have been out there, they go out there every Saturday. Yet it seems sometimes as if I mean, they're friends with the security guards and things like that, so it just makes me feel like Harrods may not take them so seriously. They know that they're there, but business goes on as normal. So what we wanted was to actually find out why it is that Harrods is not backing down. Is it make, you know, are they getting so much of a profit from the fur trade? Um, because I've been in there and I've seen that it's not, I haven't seen loads of customers coming in and out which made me curious as to why is it, and that is what we wanted to find out. Hello, my name is Hamida, and I'm calling from Rahampton University. I'm currently making a film about the fire protesters outside of Harrods, and I was just wondering if I would be able to ask someone a few questions about what the company thinks of them, and whether or not they have had any effect on the fur coat sales. No, 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 I'm not looking for financial figures. No, I just general comment is what you're looking for, but we, we wouldn't be giving that out. Did you face any challenges during filming? Yes. Um, 
our challenges was, as you could see, on was my telephone calls to Harrods because Harrods staff refused to speak about the fur, about the fur trade. They refused to speak about protesters. I mean, no matter you know how you were, we we weren't on any side. We just wanted to get their views, and knowing that they were still like, no, we're not going to give you a view. We'd email them, nothing would come back, and that was one of our challenges because we had only one side speaking. However, you know, it wasn't so bad. Security guards did let us come inside um, Harrods department store on Boxing Day to film Mohammed Al Fayed, and they did allow us to ask um, two questions to Mr. Al Fayed, and but. Uh, Again, like I said, it was very limited. Um, it's very hard to get responses from Harrods. Have you had any luck getting in contact with Harrods since the film? And how are the protesters doing now? Protesters are still there, as far as I know. Um, they're still protesting, still trying to get their voices heard. Um, as far as Harrods, I haven't heard from them. Finally, Hamida, have you got any other short films in the pipeline? I do, actually. I'm quite excited. Um, I'm working on a documentary um, about a few old lads in a betting shop um, trying to get the, trying to find an insight into their life. Um, I'm trying to explore, basically, ordinary people and find something extraordinary about them. I've got that going on. I'm writing a script at the moment for a feature length film um, about a uh, little hostage situation. So let's see how that goes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. to animals in 